The story of the Hawker Typhoon begins in the late 1930s. With Europe on the brink of war, the British Royal Air Force needed a new breed of fighter aircraft. Hawker Aircraft, the company behind the successful hurricane, took up the challenge. Sir Sidney Cam, Hawker's chief designer spearheaded the project. Cam's initial design, codenamed the Tornado, experienced a series of problems primarily with the Rolls-Royce Vulture engine. Yet, it was a stepping stone towards the development of the Typhoon, which swapped out the Vulture for the more reliable Napier Sabre engine. The Typhoon or Tiffy, as it was affectionately known by its pilots, boasted a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, 420 mm Hispano cannons, and a robust design capable of withstanding heavy damage. The Typhoon first saw service in 1941, entering into a battlefield that was desperately in need of a high-speed interceptor. It was tasked with the lofty expectation of taking on the German Falke Wolf FW-190, which had outclassed the Spitfires and Hurricanes at that time. Yet, the Typhoon's high-altitude performance left much to be desired due to unforeseen issues with the engine and the tail structure. In 1942, a series of accidents occurred due to the Typhoon's structural failure at the tail. Investigations led to the horrifying discovery that the entire rear fuselage could twist under aerodynamic stress, leading to fatal in-flight breakups. Hawker implemented a quick solution, reinforcing the tail until a redesigned fish plate could be introduced. But the Typhoon would find its niche away from high-altitude dogfights. Its excellent low-level speed, potent firepower, and robust build made it a premier ground attack aircraft, often referred to as a bomber killer. By 1943, the Typhoon was a common sight in the European theater. No longer just an interceptor, it became an indispensable part of the RAF's ground attack force. When fitted with underwing bomb racks or rocket rails, the Typhoon could deliver a devastating blow, unmatched by any other aircraft of its time. The pinnacle of the Typhoon's operational history came during the D-Day invasion and the subsequent Battle of Normandy in 1944. The Typhoon squadrons were given the task of halting the German panzer divisions that were trying to reach the invasion beaches. Flying from makeshift airstrips, often under enemy fire, the Typhoons and their brave pilots were instrumental in blunting the German counterattacks. The scenes of Typhoons swooping low to unleash their rockets against the German tanks are some of the most enduring images of the Normandy invasion. Their pivotal role in these battles earned them the nickname Tank Busters. They changed the tide of the battle, striking fear into the hearts of German panzer crews, and helped pave the way for an Allied victory in Normandy. The Typhoon also laid the groundwork for another famous aircraft, the Hawker Tempest. The Tempest was essentially a redesigned Typhoon, intended to fix its earlier shortcomings, and it became one of the fastest and most potent fighters of World War II. The Hawker Typhoon, despite its initial teething problems, left a significant impact on the outcome of World War II. It was a symbol of British resilience and ingenuity. Only one Typhoon survives intact today, housed at the RAF Museum in London. This iconic warbird serves as a tangible link to our past, reminding us of the sacrifices made by those who took to the skies in the darkest days of the war. The story of the Hawker Typhoon is one of innovation, adaptation, and courage. It's a reminder of the relentless human spirit, of a time when engineers and pilots worked hand in hand to face the perils of a world at war. The Typhoon's roar may no longer fill the skies, but its legacy lives on in the annals of aviation history. Thank you for joining us on this journey back in time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.